It's time. Time. For the show from men and women who all identify as assholes. Major, major assholes. If it's good, they make it bad. And if it's bad, they make it even worse. Holy shit, how's that possible? So toss her a towel. Call that Uber. It's time to pull out and run. Run Tasty Tuesday coming at you. Coming at you. Coming at you? That's right. I think uh, you were premature to the uh, audio board. I think I was, actually. <laughs> Good old beard producing. Let's just point that out real quick. I'm sure James Randall to my right. I got C. Jizzle. And to my left, I got Man of Doom. What are we kicking off with today? You got some spicy topics today, don't you? So I'm pretty sure. How to ask someone on a date. How to go to a museum. How to ask for a raise. How to know which utensil to use at a nice restaurant. And now it's time for the do's. Hey, good job. And don'ts. Uh, what are you, an idiot? On Pull Out and Run. Sus. Sus. Do's and don'ts. Of sus. Of sus. Writing a TV show. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did this last week, but I didn't. Don't. Don't. <laughs> I will say... When you're saving a file, make sure you do the save as and keep it on your desktop Helpful. before you lose everything after an hour of writing. You, uh, so, so do, as CJ just said, but more importantly, do pretend like you're playing a video game from 1996. Save, 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 <laughs> and save in different spots. Or any modern Bethesda game. <clears throat> oh, God. Before you hit some bug. Yeah. Which, you know... 20 minutes of Skyrim, bug. 30 minutes of Skyrim, bug, bug. You think I want to learn to save better after playing Cyberpunk when it launched? I'm still pissed that I haven't got to play that yet. It's, it's been sitting it's, there. Isn't that the buggiest game of all no, time? No, it's fixed now. Okay. Just don't play it on, just don't play it on last gen. Well, it's, it's PC or next gen. It's, it's buggy if you're a console peasant. It's buggy <laughs> if you have an old console. You have to be next gen. Naturally, that, that game that's is how too, they get That you. game is too buku. Yeah. Upgrade to our $600 system, which is still just a $300 cheap PC in a box. <laughs> and then maybe our game will run right for you. I hate you. Mm. <laughs> I'm mad because I've had Cyberpunk installed on my computer for probably six months now, and I just don't have time to play. That sucks. Yeah, it does. A lot. That's why this computer keeps crashing. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's Adobe's fault. Thank you very much. <laughs> Adobe greater than Cyberpunk. Adobe is like the Bethesda of software makers for doing any I editing. lost my uh, first Skyrim game because of some bug. That's why I started over. That sucks. Yeah, Bethesda. <laughs> yep. They got a new game coming out, I believe, and I just don't care. Starfield? Oh, I'm ready. I, I got enough care. money cleared on my Best Buy card. It looks like No Man's Sky <laughs> Part 2. Skyrim number 3000. And then they say, oh, we'll have Fallout 5 after Skyrim or uh, Elder Scrolls 6, you which mean, comes out maybe in the middle of this century. You mean Space Rim? <laughs> Space Rim. <laughs> You're 25, 37. Uh, we'll, we'll all be in our 50s when the next Fallout comes out. Oh, God. Our 50s. I mean, there's, there's a very good possibility decade, of that. Maybe. Yeah, you're not lying. <laughs> you would think a studio that takes so damn long to put a game out would have put out a, a game that works. Not so much. Not so much. <laughs> See, it's because they gave up writing for television. Shows. I will give them credit for Oblivion. Oblivion didn't have a lot of bugs when it came out. Because I remember I had to play it on 360 or whatever it came out on. I never got into that one. Oblivion? It's one of the better ones. I, I, I know. I think I got into it too late. I played it after Skyrim. But it was still old school Elder Scrolls where it's like, figure it out, asshole. You know what's really, really good? Daggerfall. Daggerfall I don't have great. a PC. I can't play it. They released a, a Daggerfall Unity, which is a, a remapping and remake of the second Elder Scrolls game. I saw you talking about better that. graphics. And man, is it good. It's difficult to sell, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she's heard me screaming. Yeah. <laughs> You're See, like, I just you got playing time to got play poison. that, but no time to play <laughs> Cyberpunk. I played for 15 minutes. It's like, true. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Because right. I wanted to see the improvement and I was very impressed. I would love to play more. I just don't have time. Oh. So, anywho, it has nothing to do with writing a TV show. <clears throat> Definitely uh, save your file a lot. Also, don't listen to your actors. At all. That is correct. Because here's what they're going to do. Your actors are going to say, hey, I'd really like my ideas to be in this season. 
I think I'm a pretty funny guy. May I offer my input into the season when the writing happens? And you'll be like me, an idiot. And you'll say, yeah, sure, and, man. And I'll Don't give you multiple chances to show up to one of these meetings I hold for writers. They will never show up. <laughs> It's all fake news. Do it's cut them stuff. from the show immediately and then don't bother with them anymore. The wall that just got too. 10 Because feet you know what taller. happens if you don't? Then they show up on set like, why can't I have my ideas in? You never got to present them. Yeah, but that's somehow not their fault. Nothing's ever their effing fault. <laughs> I promise the next two will be better. <laughs> yeah, can we move it along now? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, it's amazing to me. See, you know, for as much as men like to bag on women and women like to bag on men about how none of us take responsibility for ourselves, no one shirks responsibility like an actor. It's incredible. I have met more responsible three-year-olds. God, this is the day after the Ezra Miller conversation. <laughs> They said he's done playing the Flash now. So, yeah, speaking of, we just got yeah. uh, breaking news that uh, he's been fired. I don't know uh, what that exactly means. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, the Flash movie is going to be his last, and I don't know how they're going to do that. Because Probably just going to release it. Grant, it's Grant, already Grant, shot. Grant, Grant, Grant. It's not like they're going to be able to go and be like, well, let's reshoot the ending. I really you know? do wish they would reshoot it. I got it. this video that... Watch uh, them hire I know they that, won't, but I really wish they would. Would. Watch them hire that... I, I can't pronounce his name, that uh, guy from Dune. He's playing Paul Atreides. Oh, Timothy Chalamet. I knew Timothy, but I didn't know how to pronounce his last name. Chalamet. He can work. He can work. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Actually, he kind of has that look. Yeah. He kind of has that starved French model look. <laughs> that non-binary, the non-binary look. He played a, <laughs> that French king in that one movie that Robert Pattinson's in. What is Oh, no, wait. Sus. Wait, Robert Pattinson played the French guy. King Louis the Sus. They the Fourth. What was that movie? It's on Netflix. I can't remember what it was called. Oh, wow. The King or something? I don't remember. The King. The Sus. See, this the is Jerry what, Lawler you know, story? This is what happens <laughs> when you hire a they them and you only get one person. You should have hired the other half of the they. <laughs> oh, well, they did say non-binary by means too, so it's a singular. Did I do that? <laughs> Took a minute. I, I, took a minute. I'm confused. Oh, <laughs> I'm right. very confused. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was clever. Uh, don't hire Ezra Miller to write your TV show. <laughs> don't hire Ezra Miller. <laughs> I am so disappointed by that. I, I I thought he was fantastic in Justice League. I really did. I thought he was just killer, and Whoa. I enjoyed his take on the Flash. It's not what I wanted for the Flash to be. It's not what I expected, but it's one of those like, oh, this was a pleasant surprise. But, but it was it was a new like the the young the beginning Flash. Right, right, right. But he's not... I mean, even his hair color is wrong for Flash. Flash a blonde guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. But for me, you know, I mean, they changed Aquaman from blonde guy to Jason Momoa, whatever the hell he is. Yeah. yeah. And that worked. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I, I ended up really liking it, and now I'm just like, man, can we all just admit that there's two major events that have happened in history over the last decade that have changed the course of the entire world? Number one, Harambe died. It, yes. What happened after Harambe died? Everything went to crap. He's he Harambe is literal monkey Jesus, <laughs> because now we've got like the revelations Rip. upon us with the plagues and the H Harambe was like in the book version of it, the turtle, how it maintains yeah. the 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 and core of existence. The over, yeah, yeah. And then everything, then the dark tower falls, and yeah. all of existence goes away. And then that's where we're at with Harambe. And then, as far as DC is concerned, Zack Snyder was their Jesus, and as soon as they crucified him, where's DC gone? What have we gotten? Harley Quinn and the Emancipation of the Fantabulous Five Thousand, or whatever the hell that movie was. We called. did get. We got Peacemaker. Complete trash. We got Peacemaker. Peacemaker is actually the only good thing that's come out of DCU since Snyder left. Ooh, name one other good DCU sad. movie. Name one. As good as Peacemaker? No. Name one as good as anything Snyder did. J hell, at this point, just name a good DCU movie. Uh, the Suicide Squad, and I still like terrible. the Batman. Also terrible. And I'm a huge Batman fan, and I was, like, checking my watch that I don't own. I was literally looking at my <laughs> wrist because it was more entertaining than what was happening on screen. I was so freaking bored. I've never been bored in a Batman movie in my life, and I sat through the George Clooney one. Maybe, oh, maybe they, maybe. <laughs> that uh, was hilarious. That was not. I, I, I finally managed to maybe watch Batman Maybe they should have put Robin nipples on Pattinson's suit so I'd be more entertained yeah. or something. I don't know. It was no, awful. No. The yeah, Batman was idea just was a that? terrible movie. What about the Joker movie? 
Joker was good. Okay, you got me on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. the See, Joker? everyone had to think for a long time before Amanda came up with something. But yeah, Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix's Joker, the only good DC. Wait, did that come out after Snyder was fired? Yes, it did, didn't it? It did, yes. yes. Is that yes. even DC? I thought that was just like a standalone film. But it's still DC. It's still it's DC. But, I mean, I did yeah, say, okay, hang on, yeah, yeah. but I did say DCEU, so it's got to be part of that universe. It, it still is. The multiverse. <laughs> it's like Earth 67 or something. Oh, get out of here. They never said that. You're just projecting. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. It's it's 52, so it would be like Earth 38. They literally never said that. They never did, but it's implied. Projecting. So here's my prediction. Yeah, it's implied. Here's my prediction the now. The implication. My prediction is Wonder Woman 3 so, is going to suck because Patty Jenkins already said she isn't going to do it. And on top of that, when she did do her sequel, it sucked. You know why? Y'all want to guess why? Zack Snyder wasn't on it. Because of yes. the cheese factor. How did you guess? Because I rewatched it recently, and yeah. I'm like, ah, this was great when Wonder it first Woman came out. Wonder Woman number I still one. Haven't seen it. Wonder Woman number one. Guess what? Snyder produced it. Snyder had a hand in the script. Snyder's people worked on it, and you can tell. Wonder Woman two, god awful. It looks like they hired the people that made Saved by the Bell to do a Wonder Woman. Wonder movie. Woman was it 1986 or whatever? 84. 84. Yeah, I've never seen it. It. It has. might as well have been 1946 because I felt like I was climbing onto a German-controlled hey. beach trying to get through that movie. Sus. Just being shot at by a bunch of colorful crap. Yeah, I can't really defend it on the rewatch. All right, that's no, it's terrible. Yeah. I can't believe you rewatched it. Well, I was trying you know to know how go... many precious I've few minutes of it. life you have on this <laughs> earth, and you spent too many of them on watching Wonder Woman. Yet, how long have I done this show? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep that air horn coming. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what do we have? The Rock coming back, right? The Rock is going to play uh, Black, Black Adam, Adam, and Wait, it looks terrible. I, I, I'm I'm going to watch it. it well, I don't course, know yet. Of course you're going to watch it, but I have predictions for that as well. He's going to rock bottom somebody. He's going to raise his eyebrow at some point, and he's basically going to be The Rock, but magical. Speaking of The I'm Rock. I'm okay with that. Let's segue into the next bing, topic. Bing, bing, <laughs> well, hang on. I'm not done giving my prediction. So Wonder Woman 3 is going to suck big, big, big ones, and then Gal Gadot is going to be like, I don't want to do this anymore. And all we'll have left from the original Snyder cast is Aquaman. Yep. So how do you do Kanye a DCU? West? How do you do? You know what they have to do at this point? Literally reboot. Which Flashpoint was supposed to do. Boo. Actors, get your S together. Seriously. And I'm sad for this because Ben Affleck's last portrayal of Batman is going to be in the Flash movie. So I have to watch it. <laughs> Yeah. But at the same time, I'm a terrible person and I don't care about all the people Ezra Miller's hurt, so I'll go watch the movie anyways. Same. The movie's shot. I'm, I'm curious to see what happened. Yeah, I don't it care. It was years ago. I don't care. You know why? Because I think the all movie, human beings the, are complete garbage. No, no, so if I dug hard enough Very and wrong. people were honest with themselves, I can find something wrong with every single person that exists. No. They've all done something crazy or stupid or evil. So I don't get the point in judging people for doing crazy, stupid, evil things. That's how you write a television show. That's how it works. <laughs> Move along. Sitting comfortably in their recliner, hands covered in Cheeto dust, beer shoved in one of the folds by their belly button. They're now talking sports on Pull Out and Run. Sports ball. I actually am excited about this one. <laughs> See why I had you on? <laughs> And it's gotten even crazier recently. Yeah, I really want to know what he said on SmackDown. Um, from what I, read, I don't want to know. I don't want to know enough to actually watch it live. But I want to know. Oh, you'll 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 get to it in about five years. But the WWE uh, board investigates secret five what three million dollar hush payment by CEO Vince McMahon. Report says, can we all just say? Let, let me just say something. He's the devil. So I mean, uh, who's surprised? Rich man has a fair. Well, hang on. Mana knows that I've been watching the WWE on Peacock because I got the Peacock app. So I started in 96 because I'd never seen any of it. And I only watched wrestling from like 1999 to 2001 when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Right. Had, you know, Nate and all them at Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was there guys. with you. Yeah. So I got to start in 96 with Bret Hart and all that. And Bret Hart was feuding with Shawn Michaels. It was entertaining, but it wasn't the same. And then Stone Cold bursts on the scene, and all of a sudden, it's a really, really good product. And it, <laughs> every week is highly entertaining. There's awesome people playing awesome characters. Now I'm in 2002, and basically the only person left that's even close to what they were is The Rock. And he's about to leave shortly. Right. Yeah. And he's already been bouncing in and out of wrestling doing movies. But, yeah. So, like... Because he already, he already would have done Scorpion he's, he's, King. Yeah, he's yeah. already done Scorpion King. He's on his like, third movie now, but 
the, it, it's to the point where like the rock was missing for like six weeks worth of episodes. And then they spent two weeks promoting that he's coming back. Like he's bigger <laughs> than the sport at this point already. They're like, Oh my God, the rock is coming. What was that uh, one movie episode star, you know? where they were like, when so-and-so gets here, well, who was Oh God. There? I remember what you're talking oh, about. I can't remember man, the person. I can't ah, what it was. They kept talking about somebody Got arriving. Like, it was like they spent so much time talking about somebody arriving. It's like, dude, do something entertaining. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's like, we're lacking talent right now. Oh, we bad. have to vamp. Bad. The Undertaker isn't even the Undertaker. He's the American, American badass. Bad. I was not a big fan he, of that. Oh, it's so bad, dude. His speeches it, are terrible. He just sounds like a drunk biker. <laughs> I mean, it was okay at first because he came back from an injury. Right. It was like, all right, a little bit different. And then I'm like, do go back year and a half later, Wizard really, guy or whatever he was, I forget. Uh, but yeah, so the reason why I bring this up is because The Rock, as his character, was him. You know, you can't, you can't. Actors will tell you all the time, "Oh, I, I got to sink into the character, or whatever." So I think there's a little bit of you in any character you play, mm-hmm. unless you're Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, that guy's just weird, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for me, like Vince McMahon for the last five years worth of wrestling that I've watched, has cheated on his wife in multiple storylines, is constantly around young women being creepy and perverted. Said he the N-word one time. Yeah. It's a Booker T. I remember a that. A soft A. And remember, he he did that segment with Trish Stratus, which would not play now. Yeah. Where he made her, he yeah. made her walk around the ring barking like a dog and then shoved her face into a pile of trash or something. like I can't remember. It's, it's been a minute. But so to me, this is not shocking. See, I'm just grossed out because I know that all the storylines are fake and everything. To know that he had a real affair, I'm just like, ew. <laughs> like, why? Him? Why? <laughs> because he's rich. Women yep. don't care what you look like if you have money. Obviously. That's why Obviously. I'm grossed out. I mean, you see what he looks like now. At least the era he, I'm watching 20 years ago. Yeah, he was like in his 50s and still was, jacked. He was yes. jacked and he looked okay. But Back when he was wrestling now, too, that was interesting. He was yeah, ginormous. You can't tell me he wasn't choosing. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, they, for sure, for sure. They busted him on that. Remember the yeah. WWF got, got shut down by the government on that. They were like, hey. Oh, yeah, and Vince was gone for a while. It was like in 97, I think. Right, because of the steroid scandal. Yeah. Scandal, like baseball wasn't doing it too. <laughs> like any sport doesn't do it. Go ahead and read it, man. Let's oh. let's get to it. Uh, know, WWE's we all know that boards is, is investigating a three million dollar hush money settlement that CEO Vince McMahon paid a woman over an alleged <coughs> affair. Monday Night Raw. Rock. So was it the Rock WWE's dog. money or was it his money? Uh, well, let's because get there. I don't Son- get what the big deal it. is unless he was using company funds. The agreement, which was point. struck in January, is intended to prevent the woman who works as a paralegal for the company from discussing her relationship with a man or making critical statements about the chief executive. Sounds like a very Trump thing to do. I was uh, just thinking that. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that. stop. <laughs> you know, you know, Linda rude. McMahon worked under Trump. Uh, yeah, I did in not. the government for a couple of years. Unbelievable. My phone rang and it was none other than <laughs> Vince McMahon. And I had to give him advice. I only give the best advice. My advice. <laughs> Unbelievable. My advice. Socrates took my advice. So I told Vince, I said, listen, Vince. OK, you're coming to me, which is a smart move. It's one of the smarter moves you've ever made. You're a smart guy. And I tell everybody all the time. Vince McMahon, smart guy, right? So I'm telling him, you got to listen to me because only me is smarter than you. And this is I'm what you really have to rich. do. You've got to get your money. You got to get your money and you got to pay, but you got to pay quietly and out of the company funds. Don't use your own funds. Own funds, unbelievably rich. That's how you stay rich, Vince. I was telling him. <laughs> you know, the first thing Trump was like when Vince gave him a call. Donald, I, uh, I had an affair. <laughs> meanwhile, Trump is like, was it with your daughter? <laughs> oh, God, no, 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 no. It was with a secretary. I've uh, uh, been there before. Unbelievable. Uh, Stephanie yeah. McMahon, very hot, man. It's very hot, your daughter. <laughs> Thinking the chest like uh, Ivanka. Perfect. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Quiet, Ivanka. I have to take this. Stop it. What do I do, Donald? <laughs> anyway, McMahon, 76. Good oh, Lord. Wow. Old. Is married to Lynn McMahon, who served as CEO of WWE. I want to do that now. I want to record a conversation where we do Vince and Donald. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be a lot of fun. Go ahead. Donald, I went in raw. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, Vince. Did you give her the smackdown? Oh, of course you know I did. Right on the derriere. <laughs> Grab him by the... China. <laughs> <laughs> Grab him by the China. China. <laughs> did you grab her by the China? 
No, she's dead. <laughs> Unbelievable, that one, China. <laughs> I saw her for China. We, we all did, Donald. Help me out here. <laughs> anyway, all right, yeah. So, uh, the, the, yeah, served as small. Linda McMahon served as small business administration chief in the Trump presidency. And Trump is also a WWE Hall of Famer. So yeah, there, there, there's some he reason why they there. would talk. Yeah, Trump got in a, Trump was in a wrestling match once. Yeah, he shaved Vince McMahon's hair and he got a stunner. Yeah, and he got a stunner. I haven't got to that point. He actually yet. sold the stunner. Yeah, yeah, Stone Cold got him. Yeah, <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> enough. I would like to see that. Yeah. I would too. I must have missed it because I think uh, that was Stone late. Cold's gone now. I think it was just like a one off, like mid to late 2000s. Yes, pull it up, beard. Yeah, oh yeah, it, it had to be after. It had to be after uh, Stone Cold comes back to the company. All right, we're looking this up. I right just now. we I just went through the walkout episode. I haven't. I'm nowhere near that. Far. I had no. I'm idea. one episode. I'm. I, my next episode to watch is dude. The uh, I had to Google it because I didn't believe it. But literally, Stone Cold just walked out and left. Really? And they were bagging him so hard. Like every wrestler was talking major S. Vince McMahon came out and did a whole segment talking S. Like it was unbelievable. Like, it really happened. Stone Cold just left. That was what happened. He he left because they did, he didn't want to lose to Brock Lesnar. Brock right. Lesnar had just come out and he was crushing everybody. And they were like, "Yeah, we need you to come and lose to Brock Lesnar." Oh Raw. yeah, he comes out of retirement to lose to him. And he was like, "No, I'm not going to do that. Screw you guys." He was like, "That's a pay per view kind of match. You, I'm not going to go out on Monday Night Raw and just lose <laughs> to Lesnar in the middle of his you know, oh yeah, the height of his popularity or whatever you want to say." He was unbelievable. Look, he's there. Orange, <laughs> orange man with orange man. Crank that up. So I'm going to break it down to you like this. Donald, in this ring, don't get under my skin. Don't rub me the wrong way. Giggity. Don't rub on my feathers. Where's Waldo? Basically, long story short, I'm telling you not to piss me off. What? Because if you do piss me off, I'll whip your ass. <laughs> now look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm going to research on you. I don't give a rat's ass if you're worth a billion dollars, two billion dollars, three billion dollars, four billion. Oh, what was that? It's a Trump cut. We went to the next. This is where he's beating up on McMahon. What? That's the most exercise I've ever seen that man do. Look how slim he is compared to you know now. Though. Years ago, yeah, it was like 15 years ago. <laughs> Uh, here he is. He's about to shave Vince McMahon. Stone Cold's holding down the hair. His hair plugs, no. His hair plugs, no. <laughs> and the shaving cream. Man, I'd be very worried if somebody used razor blades on me. This wrestler shine. I don't even know who that is. He's shining his head up. It's not Bobby Lashley. It's just. Oh, oh. It looks like he's about to get it. That bad of a sell. <laughs> Can you imagine after Trump became president? <laughs> Austin's Steve like, Austin's like, I like, stunner that guy. Oh was. my god, dude! <laughs> Let me tell you something. If if at some point, at some point, when Trump's numbers were going down with the people, he should have had Stone Cold come into a presser. <laughs> One of his press conferences, and he's like, listen, here's what we're doing with China. Here's what we do with Russia. And then Stone Cold runs in and stuns him. I guarantee you his approval now, rating now, would go up. Trump's out there, Air Force or Air Force 2, the helicopter, like or whatever, the in the tarmac. background. Yeah. <laughs> and Trump's, you know, having his little talk. He's about to leave. And all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, there's speakers. You hear the glass. And here yeah. comes Stone Cold out of the helicopter. <laughs> oh, my. Where'd JR come from? By God, Stone Cold's coming out of the helicopter. Oh, the Marines are saluting him. They're not stopping him. Stunner! Stunner! Oh, my God. By God, that's the president of the United States of America. Wow. He didn't move this along. No. He might have won 2020 if that happened. I don't know what segment's next, but I do not care. <laughs> Can we just Fair do enough. WWE fan, I do, I do fan, a, fan fiction? A, a dude, Brandon would be so down for this. Uh, like, you should call him. I wish he was here. Oh, should we call him? Let's call him. 
I'm, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that he's not, you know. This. I, uh, I feel like he has more information about whatever this article let's is supposed to be about. Let's give this topic a little bit more time. Go ahead and keep reading. I want to find out if he did use his own money or he used the company money. Yeah, okay, the down. report said the board's investigation, which started in April, also revealed non-disclosure packs related to misconduct conduct claims from other women who had worked at WWE. These agreements involved McMahon and WWE talent executive John Laurinaitis, who wrestled under the name Johnny Ace. Uh, That didn't work well for him, I'm sure. (laughs) The board retained uh, Simpson, Thatcher, and Barlett, LLP, in New York-based law firm. So they had the plane ride from hell and then the McMahon bedroom from hell. <laughs> it just keeps saying so and so wasn't available for comment. So oh, yeah. oh my it's god, been like it said, three times. It said people. McMahon's lawyer Jerry McDevin, mm-hmm. and for some reason I, I only saw Jerry and I thought wait, Lawler's his lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> but the last name is McDevitt. That's not a good lawyer last name. So it's Vince, a- you can't touch the puppies. <laughs> okay. Vince, you have to hire an Irish lawyer. Trust me. It looks like it was the company, so it says... I can let you borrow Giuliani. It says... (laughs) (laughs) McDevitt told the journal that the former employee didn't make any harassment claims against McMahon. Uh, He also said that WWE didn't pay her any money. So it was company. Well, then why are... Yeah, why are they doing an investigation if the WWE didn't pay it? Yeah, and uh, Stephanie McMahon is uh, interim CEO as of uh, Friday. Which is funny because a co- like a month ago, it said there was news reports that Stephanie McMahon stepped away from the company. Yeah, I wonder if yeah, she was like, she a- I wonder if she was like talking to her kids. Mommy's gonna be away for a while. Yeah, we're gonna run this so, thing. They're gonna say a lot yeah. of bad things about Granddad. This comes oh. at a pivotal time for the wrestling entertainment company. In May, Stephanie McMahon, the daughter of Vince and Linda, took a leave of absence from most of her responsibilities saying that WWE is a lifelong legacy for me, and I look forward to returning to the company that I love after taking this time to focus on my family. That was also after Triple H had his heart <laughs> yeah, attack, Yeah, Triple though. H had had a, heart, a bad heart attack. Like, he can't do And that was right now. around WrestleMania when he left the I'm movie, still so. mad about how they started, but at least it worked out for them. Yeah. <laughs> they killed China. Yeah, they did. Uh, China took care of that. The company is publicly traded, but a man owns the majority of WWE's voting shares, took over the company from his father, also Vince McMahon, of course, in 1982. So they don't say whether he used company funds or his own money. So why is this even a story? I think I, I, I well, think that's why they're investigating, yeah, because they, they think that they did use company money, that the company paid her, which, to be fair, she was an employee. Some of that company money, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's real money. All right, move us along. We're not going to get to our last Well, time. I mean, we got like three minutes. So. <laughs> oh, really? Well, cool. I got something oh, for you. All right, week. we'll keep reading then. <sighs> this is far from... Uh, da, 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 scroll yeah. it, scroll, scroll it. down. Are you going to talk about the steroid thing? Yes. In 1993, <laughs> he was indicted on federal charges related to anabolic steroids, which he and several professional wrestlers in the WWF stable use. You Obvious. don't say. Yeah, no way, dude. Considering the fact that it looks like Triple H can't walk through a doorway without turning sideways. <laughs> can't wipe nah, his own that ass. guy ain't on steroids. No. Yeah, I wonder, like, how do they do that? I don't know. <laughs> Babe, I'm done. <laughs> uh, oh, that's I'm why finished. Stephanie took a leave of absence. I'm pretty sure Vince McMahon owns a bidet. <laughs> Jesus. You can't just refer to women as bidets. Don't be dude. rude. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. <laughs> Donald, I got a question for you. <laughs> After you get done lifting, how do you wipe your ass? <laughs> lifting cheeseburgers? What do you mean? I mean wiping your ass. We're not With cheeseburger that. wrappers. Uh, let me call Do you wipe your own ass, help. Donald? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course not. Jared Kushner does it. I have it. people for that. <laughs> Pence, get in here. Oh, China. Geez, China. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, we should do a, a Trump McMahon phone call. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Write out a little script for that. Or something. All right. Be fun. I'll make I'll sure to Stephanie. save it properly. <laughs> you want to play Stephanie? Yeah, I'll be Stephanie. <laughs> God, how are you going to get your voice that shrill, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, because she does question. that. Nee, 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 nee. God, her voice is so shrill. It's unbelievable. I'm out here, Stephanie McMahon. I was going to say, give me a line. So I'll try it. all the fans. Someone <laughs> feed me a line. Tell me something she'd say. Bruh. My like father. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My yeah. father, Vince McMahon. I remember this one. Uh, we're on the list. Yeah, my name is right there. Oh, yeah. We are in this company. 
<laughs> not shrill enough. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> All right, we're available on Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, TuneIn, Alexa, SmackDown, Raw, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Claire FM, Podcast Settings, Deezer, Stitcher, Podcast Settings, Podchaser, Listen Notes, and Beacon. Oh, 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 and then NXT. <laughs> now we're getting sued because they need money. All right, us and Vince McMahon. We'll see you tomorrow for Wap, Wap, Wap Wednesday. <laughs>